Hi guys. My name is Hayden, Hayden Marin, as many people call me. And I'm guessing you probably know that if you're watching this, but just in case, like now I've introduced myself. Hello, it's just nice to meet you. And I've wanted to start a vlog for like a while now, but you never have like a good reason to, but I figure like a boob job is like a pretty good reason, right? Seems like a good reason. Because if you decide to get a boob job and you're this flat, literally look at this, look how flat, hey ho ho ho. Hey, look at my ribs. Ribs stick out further. Ribs stick out further. When you're this flat and you get a boob job, it's like the elephant in the room. Like, other people are going to talk about it, so you might as well talk about it. You know what I mean? So, I figured to make this kind of fun, I mean, like, I even have been watching some of the videos that are out there about people's experiences with their boob jobs, and so I'm very much at this point where I'm like, hmm, well, why don't I document mine? And so I wanted to just start and say that it's Wednesday, um, it's like 10.30 at night, and my appointment for surgery is on Friday at 2.30 p.m. And so leading up, I just wanted to like take some videos, kind of talk about some of the things that I have going on in my mind, and then get some footage for you like of the actual surgery process that I can, and then do like a follow-up so you can kind of see like how it goes for me, because it's different for everybody. So just to start, I know how important it is to pick like a really incredible doctor, one that you trust, that you feel comfortable with. And so I picked a great one. Um, I'm going to like link everything in here. But so I picked Scottsdale Plastic Surgeons. I'm going to see Dr. Ryan Sujimura. And he is just awesome. Like so friendly, so knowledgeable, really accommodating, like available all the time, like comes in on his off days, can call him personally. Like there's literally nothing better than that when you're going in for surgery, especially since this is like my first real surgery. And I've decided after looking at all the different types of, you know, breast implants that I was going to go with a silicone. And I believe it's considered what's like high profile and somewhere between 375 and 400 cc's, which at the end of the day means nothing. So not nothing, but like nothing if you don't know all of the other logistics, I guess is the best way to say it. So just so you know, I'm 5'10". I am 29 years old. Oh no, don't tell anyone, but all of YouTube. So, and because I'm 5'10 and I'm very thin and very flat, um, I'm going with like a high profile implant. So it's gonna come out more than this way, less width, more out, so that I can create some cleavage instead of and listen, I'm not even trying to like hate on this because frankly, I think it's sort of beautiful on some people. I just personally remember prior to having a child having breasts and cleavage. And so this is just like very disconcerting to me because I can see like where I lost breast tissue just through the process. And childbirth is a beautiful process. That is not what I'm going to get at. But I'm just ready for some boobs now. It'll just help me to feel a little bit more feminine. I feel like it will fit with my figure a little bit better. And so that's a lot of like the reasoning that I have. Um, so leading up, like I said, it's like 10.30 at night. I'm obviously prepping my house. You have to have like someone to care for you like 24 to 72 hours after. I'm not gonna be able to raise my arms, no lifting. And you're gonna be on all sorts of different medications depending on your pain and nausea levels. And you're obviously taking an antibiotic. And this is just some of the things that my doctor personally is having me do. It's obviously different for everybody. Um, and there's also different types of you know breast augmentation. Some people do it on top of the muscle. I'm obviously gonna go under the muscle. And so there's gonna be all these different things. Um, so some of the thoughts that I've been having, and I just figured I'd talk about this, like, and they're dumb, you know what I mean? You feel like you're dumb. Well, they're not dumb. You feel like they're dumb because you're like, you think about weird things. Like, what if I get done after and it feels really weird? Or like, what if I look at myself and I think they're too big? Or, you know, all of like the things that race through your head prior to having surgery. And then I'm like, what if I'm constipated? Cause that's like a real thing. And like, what if I'm weird with anesthesia and I like wake up and I'm like, where am I? And like, you know what I mean? Like, you just don't know. Like, you don't know how you're going to react. I could wake up and be like, oh, it's totally fine. I'm totally cool. I'm not even in pain. Or I could wake up and be like, oh my God, what is life? I'm so sad from all these pills. Like, I just don't even know. 
And so, because I've never really had any, like, anesthesia or things like that, there's so many different things that could be a factor, and you just kind of have to, like, roll with the punches. But in anticipation, as you're, like, waiting and leading up to things, it's hard for your mind not to wander. So overall, though, I'm like really, really excited. Um, I think this is going to be great. Um, I have something I've wanted to do for some time now, and I'm finally executing on that. So that's a really exciting feeling. And then the whole like no drinking or eating or anything is like a little bit of an issue. Like I know that like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. is like my last meal tomorrow, and it can't be too heavy, and like I have to take my antibiotics and just like all this stuff. And then it's like no water, no gum, no anything like nothing and I don't have surgery until 2 30 the next day so I'm sitting here like Oof, girl's gonna be hungry and crabby but it'll be worthwhile and then the other thing that I've been kind of thinking about is like dumb stuff like okay so I have my nipples pierced do I have to have this done again are they gonna like can I take the clothes up what about my belly ring I have to take that out like just like weird stuff that you've like done there like I really don't want to have to do that again because that was painful it actually wasn't that painful but And so, just some of that. And then, like, I feel like they have you shower and, like, you can't even wear deodorant. Like, that's weird for me. Like, I get it. You got to be, like, really clean because they're going to do that anyway. But for me, I'm like, no deodorant. Like, not even a little bit of deodorant. And so, I don't know, just thinking of some of these things. And I have here that Dr. Sujimura is doing a bilateral subpectoral breast augmentation, uh, meaning it's going underneath the muscle. Yep, underneath the muscle. Yep. And we're going through the inframammary fold. Yep. So the incision will be right underneath the, the breast yep. crease. And silicone. Yep. Alrighty, so it's been just a few days. Hi guys. Okay, so this is me 24 hours out. We're about to go get the bandages taken off. I'm feeling pretty good as long as I'm staying like on the course of the medication. Kind of sore, tightness, like the obvious things that they tell you you'll feel, but really not bad at all. And other than that, I will come back with an update on a little bit more of a view when I get this into the sports bra in the next 30 minutes. Ready? Scottsdale, meet my boobs. Boobs, meet Scottsdale. <laughs> and obviously anybody else who's watching. So anyway, I am exactly like 24 hours out from like when I was literally in surgery. So at 2.30 yesterday, I was being operated on and now I am home. They took my bandage off this morning. I'm now gonna be in this beautiful sports bra for the next four weeks or so. And then from there on out. <laughs> And then I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about like pain levels. Like you can obviously tell I'm only 24 hours out and feeling pretty good. Um, I am really like, as long as you kind of keep up with like your pain medication and things like that, it's not bad. I know a lot of times they talk about like a tightness. I have a little bit of that sensation, but it's it's more of like a, like a weight to some extent. Like you can feel like the weight in here. And um, here I'm going to like, so you can see. You can see the little boobs. So comfort level is pretty good though. Like I'm definitely having some good luck. I wasn't sick after my anesthesia. Um, on a whole, I feel really good. My doctor was so awesome. He really just did everything that he needed to to make sure that this turned out exactly how I wanted. Literally down to putting my nipple rings back in and even my own belly piercing. Like just they did a superb job. Um, again, I linked all of his information below if you're like interested in doing a consult with him. He is incredible. Um, so I showed up today for my follow up, my 24 hour, my 24 hour follow up. And they had flowers for me and they unwrapped me and talked a little bit about how the healing is going to go and everything about it was so great. It's funny because when I was wheeled in yesterday for the entire surgery process, I don't really remember much of it. It was like I got in. I was like, is that the anesthesia? And I was out. <laughs> and so it was just really, really fast. And then I remember a little bit about like they stood me up, they got me dressed, they wheeled me out. And within like 20 minutes after having surgery, I was off and then home. And pretty quickly you're, you're groggy, but you're like aware 
and usually fall asleep. And so I did for a little while, woke up very hungry, um, ate, didn't feel sick, a little bit of soreness, but really on a whole, I felt pretty good. Um, throughout the night, I made sure that I kept up with my pain medicine because sleeping is a little bit uncomfortable for the first night, but not unbearable. And then other than that, when I woke up this morning, I probably had the most pain that I've had so far, which they usually say is like pretty like possible. You know, the second day tends to be when everything sets in and your body isn't like on that adrenaline high and you can really feel all of the things that are actually happening to your body. But again, like on a scale of one to 10, I think I was at like a five, five or a six. It really was not bad. Um, so the unraveling of my bandages was really exciting. Um, my friends were there. Everybody really is excited for me. They look great. They are the exact size I wanted. I ended up with 400 cc's of silicone in both sides. Um, and I, I believe they're actually the gummy bear ones. So if you go in, you can ask about it. They're like form stable is what it's considered. So I'm very, very pleased. You can see they're, they're quite pretty. I'm still like a little swollen in here and I'm obviously swollen up here as well, but I'm very excited. I feel happy with my decision and I'm happy that I got to share it with you guys since if you see me out, I have definitely had some changes. And so this seemed like the easiest way to just share with all of you. So if you guys have any questions for me or you've been thinking about doing it yourself and you want to know more about my experience or know more about my doctor, who I really, really, really do recommend, he is so, so wonderful, um, just contact me either here or you can also follow me on Instagram and contact me there and I would be happy to talk with you more about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.